Hello there, I am Jardian and this is my Musashi Odaki. Uh, like I said before, which was like a month or two ago I think, when I made the first Odachi video, I said I wanted to talk about technique on my next video with it, and well I'm finally here to do that, I finally have enough targets again. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain getting targets big enough for me to use, because uh, I don't think I can cut bottles with this yet. So, that's just what we're going to do. Here I'm going to start off by trying some lower left to upward cuts, it's a very powerful strike. Let's see if I can do it with Yodachi. Okay, so on that one, I did not cut, I simply cut this part. So let's try it again. Okay, you heard that noise, hopefully. Sorry my shirt keeps coming up. Um, that time, I actually did get a cut. It, uh, cut the cap straight up diagonally. Surprising, because that's the hardest part. That's why it made such a noise. All right, next one. That's what it looks like when you miss. Okay, on the topic of uh, thrusts with something like this, I usually go into a position uh, similar to the ox position that I saw in some old manuals uh, for uh, European swords, not this, but I find that this is effective, but uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, feel free to comment on what you think would be best for this. Um, I personally think this is. If you have any recommendations for any part of the video, feel free to tell me. Okay, that did not work, but it did, but... Urgh. Yeah, see, I think this is very effective, but I can try to do it like this. Let's see. Yeah, that also works. <laughs> yeah, a bit hard to get out, though. That's a lot. So hitting all three of those is pretty good. I can definitely see that this way is still effective, but still I think that this is the most comfortable and it keeps the uh, true tip of the point to be the first thing that hits whatever you're hitting. When you poke it, hits straight. Okay, next cuts. Okay, the final thing I'm going to be doing here is the only thing that I've really seen in real like Odachi use videos it is very hard to find techniques for this. I've really been looking, especially for anything historical, because that would be wonderful. But as far as training goes, the only thing I saw were these um, just very powerful straight up and down strikes. So that's what I'll be doing for my last cuts. Well, there we have probably the best cut of this. It was not very clean, but at least the cut through. Okay, sorry this was so short. I have some more targets, but I think I'm going to cut those off camera and practice a bit. Hope you like this video, and I hope some of you don't mind discussing techniques, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see improved upon with what I've done. And to say a few things right away, uh, the reason I did not do anything like this, like, I don't like doing techniques that would require me to move my hands away from a proper position like this. So I don't like cuts like this or that. See, I would much prefer to do like this, this, things like that. So that's just one thing. I know somebody probably is thinking, um, you know, why not hold it like this because it seems kind of natural. Anyway, that limits your uh, mobility a lot too. That's, uh, that's not the point. So the other thing is uh, that a big part of using this, uh, it's not the weight. It's definitely huge. It's not really the weight, it's the uh, distribution of the weight when you swing it. For somebody like me, I'm a pretty light guy. So when I swing something this big, and I swing with a lot of force, it's hard to maintain good posture and balance, especially if you're trying to hit really hard. And again, it is a strain on your arms to stop something like this if it misses. So right now, 
it is hard to stop. Those are just some things I wanted to talk about in case you were thinking about using an Odachi, specifically one like this. Well, that's really it. Feel free to comment anything. I'll see you guys next time.